All right, do you guys remember the challenge that we did a couple of weeks ago about doing expert solo mode? We did fairly decent on it. I was actually really happy with how we played, but I thought that we could do a little bit better. And of course, I would want to try and max out on that in the future. But for today's challenge, we're going to be going under both beginner and intermediate mode. We're going to see if we can tackle these pretty much on the very first go. I wouldn't be surprised if we did, but... Uh, I don't think I've properly maxed out on beginner or intermediate, so this is going to be our chance to do it today. Of course, we're going to be starting off with beginner mode. I think there's only five mini games that we got to beat in a row, and that's basically going to be that. But I'm looking at the list here. We have Derby Dash, we have Goal Getters to start, and then there's a couple of other ones that we can choose from going down the line. I think if I want to be as safe as I possibly can, I'm going to go right, probably, just because I want to give myself an opportunity to choose which ones I want. Derby Dash is probably going to be the one where I'm going to be pretty safe about it. I mean, Goal Getters is probably going to be the easier one, but as far as the path that I'd want to take, I don't know if I want to do Jumbo Jump or another game, but... We'll gladly take our win here and move on. Uh, now, it's funny because lately, I actually have not been doing that great on Derby Dash, but we'll be a little bit more conservative with this considering we are only playing up against beginner or maybe standard mode characters. So we're not going to be playing up against the greatest of me's. So we're going to be chilling for a little while, but I see Stephanie is trailing pretty far behind, not really doing much to her horse. But once we hit the orange line, we're going to be going absolutely berserk. And we're going to be going crazy. We're going to probably start it. Let's go about now. And we're going to be going absolutely out of control. This should be a win all the way. Yeah, look at this, dude. Oh, that is perfect. Look at that. 35.9 for the finish. That is pretty decent in my book. We will gladly take our first place on that. Now, if I want to make this game as easy as I possibly can make it, I want to go Shutter Pup here, especially considering they only will snap probably three photos on beginner mode at the very max. So all we'll need to do is just shoot five of these just so we can play it safe. And then the rest will pretty much be history. So we're going to make sure we get some good shots of our pup today. Uh, I haven't really done this properly in a while so we're gonna go up we're gonna uh we're gonna scare the little buddy yeah there he is let's see if we can get one more solid one to play it safe here let's get one shot in the front let's see if shinta and eva and i believe that's rachel down below there will get any more than that i don't think they will we will gladly take four look at that little cutie man we will take our first place have some fun with it now Splash Bash, let's see if we can beat this one in two seconds like we have done in the past. I don't know how easy that's going to be, but we will try and get this one done pretty quickly if we can. Uh, the most time that I've ever spent on this is probably like a good 10 seconds, but I don't think that that's going to happen this time around. Uh, just got to make sure that they all go to the corner and we'll be pretty much chilling. Ooh, I nearly got Akira. Dang it. Okay, I did not slide it over enough, but we will gladly get Akira off of the beam. And that is a win for your boy. Now, I need to play this game as safely as possible. So, Flat Purtle is, is going to be our game. And then we're going to have that little uh, puzzle mini game that we're going to be going on to for the very last one. And we will be demolishing beginner mode quite easily, actually. That was a fairly solid run to the very finish. And, of course, this is going to be a win right here. Look at the size of this lead for your boy. Oh my goodness. Look at how far I was away from everybody else. My gosh. All we have to see now is can we get the fast route on this little puzzle minigame roll to the goal? We got to see if we can. If not, we'll figure it out for sure. We're definitely going to win this, but I just want to make sure that we make this as fun of a game as possible and as quick of a game as possible. Uh, it looks like we will be getting uh, the second fast path, I believe. Uh, we're going to be heading up against Daisuke, I believe is this guy's name. And... Uh, He's going to be starting a little bit late here, so we're going to be gladly taking our lead early on. But, uh, yeah, this will be a pretty fair finish to the goal here. We just got to make sure we get down here pretty deep, and uh, we should be pretty much good all the way to the goal. That is a dub. What a pretty easy finish. 90 points is going to be our finish for today because it's going to be 10 points per heart that we gained, and we did get one there right in the middle when we played Splash Bash, so we'll gladly take our 90, which is a max out on beginner mode. Fairly easy, especially if you want to get good 
at a couple of these mini games and just practice i think solo mode beginner and intermediate is a very solid way to do that i mean of course there is the expert mode also so you can also play on that if you feel the need but we will gladly do that we've already done this before so this is not the first time that i have done this i don't really play beginner mode like that so i guess this does make sense i probably completed it once a long time ago and then moved on but now we will be heading into intermediate mode and seeing what this challenge provides now this time around we have 10 mini games that we're playing and it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge, it looks like. Uh, not going to be too crazy. Uh, I am looking at Jumbo Jump. That could be a possibility off to the right side. But I think I'm not going to do that because Jumbo Jump is way too inconsistent. Goal Getters, Cry Babies. I see we do have Delivery Duel and then Shifty Gifts up there as well. So we're going to have some solid mini games coming up. This is going to be a pretty easy road to beating Intermediate pretty much first try. So we'll have to see where we're at. But we're going to get our first goal. No way! My timing is is just awful bro how did i just miss that timing completely that was disgusting i just gotta make sure that maria does not get four dude because man that would absolutely suck if i just completely choked the heck out of this but okay maria is gonna miss that is good i'm happy about that uh marco is gonna miss one as well uh chica's doing fairly okay but oh my gosh dude oh that is so fortunate bro chica you have to miss you have to miss. Don't do it. Yes! Oh my gosh. I do not deserve that at all. I don't know why that minigame in specific I struggled on, but dude, hey, we will take a win. I just find it hilarious that a tie also does result in you getting max points, so... I'll, I'll take it in a run, but dude, I'm just being completely honest. I did not deserve that one bit. Yo, my baby looking fly today. We're going to be putting you to sleep, baby. Yeah. Rock yourself to sleep. Rock yourself to sleep. Yo, my baby happy. Yeah. Now, we do have a decision to make. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much what I pick here. Uh, I don't know if I want to go with the easy one or if I want to go with the harder one, but we'll go with some timber topple just to make it a little bit more interesting, just to give our opponent a little bit of a chance to possibly beat us if he really, really wanted to. So we'll have to see how this goes. Or I guess it would be Jackie who we're going to be facing up against. But time lapse time. Easy money. Oh my gosh, bro. Jackie had no chance from the very beginning. Now we're going to play it safe a little bit. We're going to play some shifty gifts. I think our best bet is going to be chopper hoppers on the left side. So we will gladly take that when the time comes. We have Shohei Sakura, and I believe that's Oscar on the very end. But no, th these should be toppling over fairly quickly. Dang, Shohei is uh, not really having it today. My goodness. But hey, look at Oscar kind of keeping it alive for a little while. Respect. We'll gladly take our first place, though. Suck it up. Yeah, so it's going to be Chopper Hoppers, and then we have that little Timber minigame over there. That is the 1v3. So I think this is going to be our best bet. For being able to beat this and then i see we do have some flag fracas or maze days going up the way so we do have a little bit of variety it is going to be a win we have some more child abduction coming our way let us feast i still wonder when youtube is gonna like flat out demonetize me for saying that i don't know if i genuinely have a right to say that on this platform but hey we're gonna take it as it comes our next mini game has now commenced and we have finally received our first Heart of the game lumber wax is what they call this this should be fairly simple i'm not really too worried looks as if this is going to be money in the bank once again we'll gladly take all three hearts did not even get scathed perfect and of course we do have barrel daredevil next hopefully we don't mess up on this i feel like if i were to mess up on anything it would be a mini game quite like this so hopefully i don't mess this up i don't think i will but uh, I just got to get low enough on the intermediate. We have Yoko, Lucia, and I believe that's Mia there in the middle in the green. So we'll gladly take, I think that's about roughly 12 inches, something like that. Is that about accurate? Let's see if I'm on the dot there. 18 inches, not too bad, but we will gladly take the double U. And of course, y'all already know the deal. I have to have redemption for the last mini game that I played on this. Flag Fracas, I don't know how, but I somehow lost this mini game up against Victor in the last video that we played with this minigame so i gotta get my redemption we have hero masa gabrielle and then we have 
Uh, I believe that Shinta is who we're going to be playing up against. Clock is going to be doing our timer here. I kind of choked that a little bit at the very beginning, but we'll gladly take the flag away from our opponents. Hiromasa was fairly close, but no dice. And now we get to see what springtime is all about here. Hopefully, we can get a pretty good time here. I have been messing up on this fairly lately, but I believe... We are going to be heading into yet another time lapse with Ryan. Here we go. Ooh, 20.1. Not as good as I would have liked, but we will gladly take the W. Let's go. And last but not least, we have follow your face and or crash balls. I don't know which one I want to go for, but I think... I have to go for the more skill-based minigame, and I think Crash Balls is going to be our best bet to max out completely on here. Hopefully, we can do just that. Crash Balls can be fairly inconsistent, but just so long as I don't get hyper-aggressive and wait for these balls, pause, to fall into their respective holes, pause, then this should be a pretty decent game to win, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be fairly laxed, uh, just kind of staying away from the crowd a little bit, not really wanting to get too up in everybody's business. I'm going to make sure that they duke it out first and that I don't have to sit here and worry about anything. This is kind of weird. Like, literally nobody is doing anything right now. We're just kind of all chilling right now. But, oh, no! That was one of the dumbest things I think I've ever seen. Oh, my gosh, dude. The fact that I actually allowed that. At the very end, I choke it on Crash Balls. We still won, but dude, that actually rubbed me the wrong way. I can't even lie. 140 is a max out, and we got 135. Dude, I am so mad about that. What is going on? That is the highest score that we've ever gotten, but dude, that legitimately hurt my feelings, bro. How did we choke the ending on Crash Balls of all mini games? I mean, yeah, I was staying pretty relaxed the whole time, and I didn't really want to be aggressive, but even then, I was like, I don't know if me getting cornered is going to be the way that I lose this, but I, it just managed to happen, and I lost. Nah, just for that, I'm going to honestly play this again because, dude, I am not going to take any chances. We are going to max out intermediate mode today. It is going to happen. Jumbo jump to begin. Hopefully, we can get a pretty good solid timing on this. Uh, let's see if we can. That felt pretty decent for my hand. Of course, we are playing against intermediate mode, so this should be, yeah, in a complete blowout. All the way across the board. Not to worry about that. Your boy is stunting on him. Now it is time for the rematch. Very early on, too. We're going to have crash balls on game number two. Hey, if we can just get this thing out of the way, bro, I will not be too mad about it. Hopefully, we can just get this thing done and move on. We got Abby Asami in AI is what I like to call her. Uh, if we can collapse them as quickly as we possibly can onto the sides, that'd be kind of nice. Uh... Not really much is happening here, though, so I, I got no freaking way! Okay, we're restarting this once again, dude. That's honestly the stupidest thing. Okay, do we even have Crash Balls on here? Do we have it on here? Do we have it on here? Okay, we are free. We have no Crash Balls. This should be a win all the way across the board. Okay, we're gonna speed run the heck out of this, and we're gonna get this thing done, dude, because if I'm gonna be completely honest with you, I'm extremely impatient. I don't know why Crash Balls is the game right now that I absolutely am struggling with, but we're gonna make sure that we win every single mini game all the way across the board and just completely do this out let's go baby we got ram gem next playing into our success hopefully we can get this done fairly quickly i think my best bet here especially if i do want to win this thing and actually max out is going to be uh what is it? it's going to be rope sling rope sling is going to be our best bet here but uh let's see if we can get a pretty decent finish here oh wow we're absolutely going quick oh whoa no, 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 no! This game, man, this game just wants to rub it in my face, and I really don't know why. Do we have crash balls or anything else that's gonna hinder our game here? Do we? We do not. Okay, we gotta run back jumbo jump one more time. I think it's only fair. We're gonna run back jumbo jump. We're gonna make sure that we can actually win this game now. And, uh, oh, well, we did win the game the last time, too, but I wanna actually make sure that uh, we win this game in the next ones ahead, up ahead because I'm extremely impatient and I want to win this thing finally. I don't know who's all there. We have, I think, Miguel. Uh, yeah, Miguel, Holly, and Rin. Wow, I think I'm actually uh, finally starting to recognize a lot more of these Mies. The more I play, the more you'll finally get these Mies names. But let's see if we can get the timing down pretty good. Okay, I'm going to officially try this one more time. The fact that I have messed up on the littlest things has been beyond me. I am 
actually extremely disappointed by, by the fact that we have not gotten this done quicker than what we were expected to. But, dude, I'm just a little bit disappointed, bro. The fact that we're screwing up on the smallest mini games imaginable is just so depressing. But we're going to take a quick one and stop watchers. Hopefully, it's not going to be too long. We're going to have literally a 10 second one. Oh my gosh. We'll see if that one is going to be enough. It might be right on the dot. We will be short of point three again. Oh my gosh. So I'm actually undershooting this right now, which is not good at all. Hopefully, we get a pretty low count that we were not going way too far. 88's not too bad. We'll see how we play out here. 10, 20, 30. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. We'll go right here and we'll see if that's near the line. It sucks because it's not directly on a zero, which is not very helpful. But 88 is close enough to where the uh, the yard post would be. So if we get the line, it's going to be right here. Can we? Oh my gosh. I just barely missed the line. Oh my goodness. I overshot it by literally a half second. You got to be joking, bro. That is so painful. I think I have to take the risk and I will be going tropical punch. I just got to play it as safe as I possibly can. And the fortunate part about this is we do have the chance to go for chopper hoppers at the very end. So we'll have be, we'll be having a lot of fun for sure. But we're going to be playing up against an all girl crowd here. No, that was actually extremely close. Golly, but we'll gladly take the win. Dude, that was kind of close. I can't even lie, but we will make that work. And last but not least, we have Chopper Hoppers. I guess if I really wanted to make it safe, I could go Saucer Snap. But I want to make sure I get the minigame that I know for a fact I will win at. And we will gladly beat Intermediate Mode. That took me... The fact that that took me literally five tries just so i could get to the point of finishing this is beyond me but i'm so glad that we can finally say that we defeated beginner and intermediate mode completely maxed out 140 points all the way across the board we will gladly take the w going to space for the last time today the only time actually uh that we get to properly go to space with a chip on our shoulder but a win is a win dubs all the way across the board Whee! look at how satisfying this is bro 140 points